Okay, the first thing that you're going to do to create your hidden art is you're first going to find something to hide. Now I've got all of these magazine pages for you to find your image that you're going to hide. And you're going to take your viewfinder and you're going to cut, crop these images. Now you want to look for something with lots of color because you want to be able to hide it within your abstract design. That has a lot of color to it. That's already pretty abstract. So we're going to pick out three of these. That's going to be one of the ones that I pick out. So then what you're going to do is you're going to get a pencil and you're just going to trace that. I'm going to pencil out my pencil box here. And then some scissors. I'm going to cut out that as one of my images because there's lots and lots of color there. And it's a fairly abstract design. It could be good or bad. So there's my first idea right there. Is this one right here. This just gets thrown away. And I'm going to put this off to the side so I don't lose it. I'm going to look for some more ideas here. A whole bunch of dinosaurs. I've got this guy on the radio. Let me take a look at the guy on the radio. That looks pretty good. A guy on a cell phone in a crowd. lots of colors. It's not very abstract. Let's see what I'm looking at here. So here I've got this guy and he is got his coat open which is very colorful. So that's going to be my second idea. Put it off to the side and throw the scrap away. Here I've got a pickup ad, an ad for a pickup truck. I've got some great color on it. It's pretty abstract when you zoom in like this. I'm going to look at this one too. Throw that away. I'm going to put this in my pile of maybes. And then you know what? I said three, but I just looked at this one. And that one's pretty exciting to me right there. Lots of color. Not abstract. Because you can clearly see that those are people there. So I actually have four possibilities, which is fine. Okay, throw that away. Now with all of these ones that didn't get cut up, these get put back in a nice neat pile in the middle of your table. And let's look at our three choices here, or four choices actually. This one, I'd be using pink, red, orange, gray, and black. And so that could be interesting. It's very abstract at this point. It just looks like a design. This one is clearly what it is. I mean, it's three people, mom and two sons. They're standing there looking all proud and excited about space. But I'd be using lots of color, red, black, blue, white, gray. Um, looks like some greens there. So that has lots of color. 
This one is so abstract, I don't know if I could find that image. And then there's this one too, lots of different colors, but also very clear. So any of these would have been fine. I think I'm going to do this one though. Now you're going to use crayons because that gives you the most amount of color options and a piece of paper. And first things first, write your name on the back. And your class code. Then you can glue this wherever you like. You can glue it off to the corner so nobody, people are, um, it's the last place people look. You can glue it right in the middle, which is sort of the first place people look. Glue it wherever you want. You just need some glue stick. I think I'm going to glue it right there like that. And you're just going to start making your abstract design. And I think I'm going to start with this red. I'm just going to expand this line. You want to push down pretty hard to get that good color there. then my line can kind of take a life of its own there. And then, let's see, I'm not sure if that's black, so I'm just going to test on the black back. Nope, it was blue. There's black. I think I'm going to have this maroon color right next to it. It's red-violet. Now after I color this in, the thing you can do about crayons is then you can color over it again a little bit harder and really get that color to show up really well. You can see the difference between this area and this area here. And I'm giving you plenty of time to work on this, so I expect these to be colored in really well like that. Now you don't have to stick with just this one color. If you want, you can have other colors kind of come in to it, make it abstract, make it more vibrant and more interesting. So it's going to kind of fade in. Orange is going to kind of fade in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have it look like it's almost wrapping around the back of the page. So it's repeated here and here. If your hand starts to get a little worn, you can put the crown in between your fingers like this. Make a peace sign, put the crown in there. And that's a good way to have your hand relax while you can still color in. Then you can hold it the more traditional way as well. And you can go back and forth and that way you can see, keep coloring without your hand cramping up. Now there's a little bit of gray right there. I'm going to get a little gray. Come in to here like that. It's more of a dark gray, so I'm going to color a little bit of black over it to make it look like a dark gray. These crowns can do a pretty good job of mixing and blending. Full on black there. If you don't find the color that you're looking for here, you can look in my big box of extra crayons for it there.
forget you can use the side of the crown to get really big areas colored in a lot more quickly. I'm not going to bore you anymore with my coloring. You all know how to color. And you would fill the rest of this page up so that there's no white paper showing and color the rest of it in. Okay? Make sure you start with the color that it's needed and then you expand it out. And that's the main thing is to start with the color that's needed. Like right here, gray, little line of gray, but then I can expand it and it can take on a life of its own. All right.